The Pulse of Spokane is a broad show that showcases many different things in our community, sponsored by Local 29 Firefighters Union, Well-Dressed Walrus, and Homes for You. Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to the Pulse of Spokane podcast on this hot summer day in Spokane. I'm your host, Brody, joined today by Elizabeth Huckabee. Stay tuned to find out more. Too often our veterans aren't getting the care that they need when they need it. They might be told that they have to go to Seattle or Portland or Boise. And the veterans deserve the best care. That's why Kathy is fighting to fix the VA and eliminate the wait list. The proud wife of a veteran, Kathy delivered for Fairchild Air Force Base. Funding for more air tankers, better pay for those who serve. Their champion, our voice. I'm Kathy McMorris Rogers, and I approve this message. When we opened the doors the first day, we started with a counter full of maybe a dozen selections of a dozen cupcakes. We sold out and it just went crazy from there. I'm Sally. I run Sweet Frosting's Blissful Bake Shop in downtown Spokane. It's almost 40 years of baking for me. We now do between 1,000 and 2,000 cupcakes a day. The variety of cupcakes is kind of like the variety of services that STC provides for us. Since we opened this side in 2014, they've been our banker. We are producing for four stores right here, so we have 35 to 40 employees at any one time. There's an STCU close to virtually every one of my stores, and every time I get a new employee, that's the first place we send them. STCU is such a good fit, it's just so convenient for me to have them as neighbors. They are always so pleasant and always so helpful, and we have a lot of little needs. They've always been behind me 100%, so it's a good thing to have that partnership. Here at River Ridge Hardware, we carry a great selection of Krylon brand spray paints, Color Master, general purpose, the rust protector for taking care of metal, Fusion for taking care of plastics, and the Supermax that can take care of it all. Welcome back, everybody. I've got Elizabeth Huckby with me. How are you doing today? Good, good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. Hot outside today, isn't it? Yes, yes. Quite warm. Again, that way. So you provide technological services for companies, right? T technological solutions. Yeah, that's what, correct. What kind of uh, technological solutions do you have? Because I know you'd mentioned you have like four different departments before. Yeah, yeah. So we basically have four different divisions that focus on different areas of technology. And the first one is our network services division. We focus really heavily on customer relationships and making sure networks are secure. Um, we host our own data center okay. um, and provide backup services as well. Um, and then our other primary business is uh, labor management and HRIS. And that encompasses things like scheduling, recruiting and onboarding, uh, payroll services, performance management. Um, and then the third one is really our mobility division. And that's where we focus on providing technology in warehouses, um, field services, really giving that enterprise mobile solution. Okay. Um, and then we've recently launched our own product called IntelliWage. And IntelliWage um, focuses kind of a, brings, brings those areas together and provides uh, field service, labor tracking, and inventory management where they can collect, you know, who picked what bin or, you know, how many buckets, you know, they picked of cherries. And so the good cherries you have in the store today are out in those fields getting picked pretty much over now. Okay. So, and obviously with that, uh, 
with COVID going on, you got to kind of do it a little more remote. Did you used to go into places to help uh, figure things out? You kind of go in to scout out what's going on to do that? Yeah. Can you still do that now with uh, things starting to open up a little bit? Or do you have, is there a remote way you've started to do it? Um, we do more remote now. You know, we use web meetings, of course, and um, show the software remotely. We can even show a mobile device and the application on that device remotely. Um, and then even do training in that same way. Okay. And is there, um, with uh, four different uh, divisions, is there one that's been like a main, like one that's been more popular or? Um, it, you know, they're all pretty strong um, okay. at this time. Yeah. So, but our our business has, we've been around since 1959, so a very long time. Okay. Yeah. Um, and really very focused on the labor management side. So the timekeeping and the scheduling and exception management. <laughs> Doing uh, technological help uh, from 1959. Man, thinking all the way back to then, to me, that's the dark ages. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so back then we, we started as sort of a payroll company. Okay. Uh, and, you know, there used to be old pay cards, apparently, before my time, too. Um, and <laughs> they would process the pay cards, and it would generate checks. Um, okay. And so some of the Spokane businesses here actually remember us from way back then. Um, but yeah, those the times have changed. <laughs> I'm really young, but I, I know what a, I kind of know what a pay card is because <laughs> they use it in like kids cartoons. You don't you don't understand it then, but mm -hmm. I've I, I've been through two different jobs myself, and there's always way different ways of doing it with technology. That you know, mm -hmm. you never quite it's never quite the same going from job job one place. It was through an app. Uh, now it's just in store. Yeah, you know, yeah. so like. Uh, so the the new technology you're providing, how long has that been around now? How long have you had the new product you're offering? Um, so we're just in our first pilot phase. We've okay. been working on it for about two years. Okay. Um, prior to this product and actually developing an actual product we could sell, which is cloud-based, we were doing sort of you know custom solutions for large growers. Um, but the nice thing about this is this scales to all size of growers. So you don't have to be, you know, a very large business to be able to afford to have that technology in the field anymore. Okay. And I know you had mentioned previously that, uh, you know, agriculture is a big one for you guys. Uh, and I know agriculture, a couple of times there's been a lot of need for it because a lot of places are getting short on stuff everywhere. Yes. Uh, has there been any breakthroughs and ways to help them get things out quicker, get, you know, all, all sorts of help out there? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the distribution portion isn't something we typically focus on. However, you know, mobile scanning and those sorts of technologies, really being good at labeling things, you know, with barcodes and things like that or RFID technologies can help speed that process as well. Okay. Um, you know, more and more, you know, we have great distribution partners and great manufacturing partners. And so we're starting to see a lot of, you know, new technologies coming out very quickly to help with that process. Um, from companies like Zebra Technologies who do a lot of the mobility. Yeah. And have you been seeing a lot of growth lately? Because obviously with things being so drastically changed with situations in the world, mm -hmm. everybody's looking for solutions. Yeah, actually, um, we had a very quiet month, one month, when, you know, they, we were first asked to stay at home. Um, and now things are busier than ever for us, uh, barely keeping up with, yeah. you know, the requests for different technologies to help them. Um, you know, a lot, a lot in the mobility sector. I okay. would say that's growing exponentially, um, and then also in our ag solution. Okay. When you say mobility, what kind of mobility are you talking here? Um, a good way to think of it is if you've been to Home Depot. Yes. Right. And yes. you stand, you ask for something, and they bring up their little mobile computer. Yeah. Um, that's a lot of what we provide. So okay. it's really become you know mobile computing. Um, being able to access information, have barcode scanners built into the mobile computers to be able to, you know, track and look up and, and really be the face of the customer instantly okay. um, rather than having, you know, you have to go to customer service yeah. and wait. Um, so that technology is moving to, more to the, to the floor in retail, of course. Okay, so now instead of just everybody having their phone in their pocket that has just entirety of human knowledge at their hands, mm -hmm. now instead of just having to be like, hey, I need help finding this, if that person doesn't know, they take you up front. Now they have just their iPad, their on, their, just their iPad right on their arm and they can just, we're yep. over here. Yep. Okay, 
that's really cool. It's uh, it's good to see technology being used in good ways, you know? Yeah. Because there's a lot of ways where it can go bad, but it's good to see that it's making things more efficient. That's always yeah. a good aspect. Yeah. That's always and a good that's, aspect. that's sort of our company tagline, really focused on productivity and efficiency um, and helping businesses achieve that. Um, because even when things are slower for business, um, you know, if you don't have efficient processes in place, um, you know, good control over inventory, um, the business can suffer. Control over inventory is huge because if numbers are off, it can not only mess with your systems, but it can also just mess with like somebody, say somebody goes on your website, sees if you have it, comes into store, that number was wrong and now you don't have it. Right. Correct. Yeah. 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 And the big box guys, they, they have it down, but... Um, it's still important for, you know, small and mid-sized companies as well. Well, there's always human error. Yeah. Human, yeah. You know, we're, you know, getting more, obviously, technology-based things, which is why there's starting to be less errors. But, you know, for places that are still mostly using uh, human counters and people that just have that little clicker and they just walk around, <laughs> they click one, click two, click three. Uh, you know, it's, it's not uncommon for them to not see the box behind the other one. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So having a mobile computer with a scanner built in yeah. and barcoding the items um, yeah, can change the world if that's the way they're doing it. Okay. Uh, do you have any advice for uh, businesses that maybe haven't reached out for you yet that they can start doing without, you know, without too much effort? Yeah, I mean, one of the things we're seeing a lot of requests for, too, on, you know, time management and HR is, you know, in many cases now the employees aren't there in the office, Yeah. you know, aren't in front of you. So how do you better communicate with them? You know, how do you better, you know, provide company information um, rather than just using email to really be able to provide a portal to employees. Yes. Um, and so it also helps them feel inclusion um, during a time when they may feel very distant. Yeah, because, you know, you can do business through email, but there are, there's obviously a limit to it, being able to have face-to-face, even if it's like through cameras. Uh, yeah. You know, it's still you can convey a little more emotion. I mean, even for being in stores uh, with masks being required everywhere, you can't show as much facial expression. You got to kind of learn to <laughs> keep everything up here. All of a sudden, somebody says something funny, you smile, and then you're like, oh, wait, they didn't see that. Yeah, I think we've all felt that way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've done it plenty. <laughs> like, well, we have to use our eyes more. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you got to use those eyebrows. Show, 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 show surprise. Show, <laughs> show some happiness. <laughs> Is there any way that uh, businesses that might be struggling or even just want some advice can reach out to you guys? Yeah, yeah. So um, obviously we can be found online at uh, datapronw for northwest.com. Um, and then they can always call 509 252 5595. All right. You want to say it one more help. time just in case nobody got it? Yeah, 509 252 5595, datapronw.com. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been wonderful having you on. Thanks thanks. for coming on and talking in these times. And I hope you have a safe, fresh day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. And for everybody else that's been watching, this has been the Pulse of Spokane. Thank you, and see you next time. I'm Mike Conrad, running for state representative for the 4th Legislative District, and I'm committed to bringing new energy, a new direction, a new name, and more importantly, a new representative who's willing to go and trim the fat. Paid for by Mike Conrad for state representative Republican. We as citizens need to set Spokane County up for success by voting in the primary. You can visit republicansofspokane.com for endorsements and recommendations. Paid for by RSC One Pack. At Wendell Motors, we've always had one priority. Taking care of you, our customer. From now through September, finance a new, used, or certified pre-owned through Ford Credit. And if you lose your job, you can return your vehicle to us for up to one year from the date you purchased it. And we still have unheard of 0% financing for 72 months and up to $47.50 in retail customer cash on select 2020 Fords in July. We know things have been difficult, but we're here for you. The Ford promise is the Wendell promise. I'm former Washington State Representative Leonard Christian, and since I left office, the budget has almost doubled, and the governor signed comprehensive K-12 sex education into law. He's also abused his emergency powers. I'm asking for your support to help me return to Olympia so that I can protect businesses and families. I'm Leonard Christian, the reasonable right candidate, and I ask for your vote. Paid for by Leonard Christian for State Representative Republican. 
National Barricade and Sign Company is a well-established company founded in 1957. National Barricade has become a well-known business in the Spokane Valley for more than 50 years. Over the years, we have built long-lasting relationships with many cities, counties, and their departments of transportation. Customers come to us because they know they are going to get the best quality service at the best possible price. National Barricade prides itself on getting the job done in a timely manner. We know that contractors must have certain items in a timely fashion to get their job done. And if we don't have it, we will get it. We guarantee fast service no matter how long it takes. Hi, this is Kurt Stockwell with Well-Dressed Walrus. We are a local website design and development company here in Spokane. What we do is build beautiful, usable websites for local businesses. A website needs to be beautiful, it needs to be usable for your users, your customers, and yourself. Contact us anytime. We'd love to talk with you about your online marketing. Thanks for watching. Ask the host a question, recommend a guest, or check out any of our other programs on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or SpokaneTalksMedia.com. Sponsored by Local 29 Firefighters Union, Well-Dressed Walrus, and Homes for You.